Welcome everyone, in today's video I'm going to be giving you a full breakdown of this trade that I took on LJPY which gave me 9.7% and provides you with your monthly wages in just one trade. So I'll be showing you my full method for finding this setup and explaining why I placed my entry where I did, where I placed my stop loss and where I placed my take profit, all the reasons going from the high time frame to the lower time frame confirmation so you can replicate this setup on different pairs, different time frames, however you want to trade it. So if that's something you think you'll find useful then definitely stick around to the end. So the first thing I did, I was on the 4 hour chart and on the morning of the 20th of December I woke up and I saw this huge bearish candle. Obviously, during the Asian sessions, the JPY pairs, you know, Euro JPY, USD JPY, anything that's something JPY move a lot more in the Asian sessions compared to other pairs. Because obviously, because of the different time frames, Bank of Japan is open and trading during the Asian session. Even though there's less liquidity from London and New York, there's still Asian traders. And so you do sometimes get huge moves in the Asian session like this one. And so when I woke up, I saw this on all the pairs and I marked it all up on all of them. But this was the first one to come back to my zone so what i did is i marked up this four hour order block and something to note if you go into the daily time frame there is a daily order block as well but i refined it i prefer trading on four hour and so i refined it to this immediate order block before the huge move as this is most likely where all the orders were placed around this area before price shot down and then as you can see it did take a while you know, it took a few weeks actually um quite a few weeks, like a month almost, before price did end up going back to this zone. And this is where patience comes into it. Trading psychology is a big thing. There's no point rushing your setups. It will come eventually. And if it doesn't, move on to the next one. But it did come. And as you can see, tapped into the zone. But a nice thing before this zone, which made me give me confirmation that this zone would hold, is this liquidity that was induced here. So you've got your buy side liquidity above these highs. Inducing sellers to go short, place their stop loss above here, giving more confirmation that this is where the banks want to re enter their trade. So, if the price comes up into here and moves down, we'll be confident that the price is going to continue down. So, the main things I was looking at on this four hour time frame, first of all, were the huge imbalance left behind by this candle. As you can see, there's imbalance between these two lines. So, this is likely to get filled. And it did some of it got filled here, more of it got filled here, and then all of it got filled when we tapped into our order block and also a broke structure here but that's pretty obvious by the huge candle then what i did is i went down to the lower time frame and for this you can either use the the hourly or the 50 minute depending on what you like there's going to be different risk rewards different trade frequencies and uh win rates but whatever you like you can even look on both that's what i did here that's uh, so the first one down to the hour once price tapped in and i saw a price pushed up and then pushed down and then there was this little push up here again before the push down so this whole area here is some manipulation, prices pushed up, so that the institutions can get in at a better price to then take price down. And so you're going to be looking for an order block in here to get off of. You could have easily just traded from this hourly order block. You know, that would have been nice if you want to trade the 4-hour and the hourly together. But what you can do is go to the 50-minute and look for more refinement, which is what I did. Sometimes there won't be any, so you can just trade from the hourly, as you can see here. There's a nice kind of hammer candle. You can see quite a nice wick above the body and then price pushed down, leaving some imbalance between these two candles as well. And something that I think deserves its own video, so I might do this in the future. But when you see something like this, if you go to the lower time frames and you see a pattern like this where price has been consecutive bullish candles and then consecutive bearish candles, no like indecision, and it creates this kind of upside down V or a V if you're going bullish, this is where you're looking for manipulation. This is where it makes it quite obvious. You can see again here, price pushes up, pushes down, and then price comes back to this zone. And it does this over and over again, you know, even like here, something like this, price pushing up and then push down. You see it all over the place. It is kind of the way the market moves sometimes, but when there's liquidity grabs, it's going to be price pushes in one direction only and then the other direction. But back to the trade. So I marked on my four hour order block, price pushed back in, went to a lower time frame. We're now on the 15 minute price broke stretch with this. And I waited for it to come back to the zone to get in. As you can see on the morning of the 11th of January, Right below our zone is some Asian highs, which is perfect confirmation. As you know, Asian highs like to get taken. There's liquidity above them that a London session wants to take before moving in its direction. And so this was great confirmation for me to get into the trade. And so I set my limits with my entry at the low of the order block, because that's where it's going to get tagged every time. If you try and place it halfway through, yes, you'll get better risk reward, but you won't always get tagged in. Stop loss at the high of the order block. My reason was for this was because if price goes above this point, 
that my setup's invalid. I, I was wrong, and I'll accept that. I don't want to risk any more. And then my take profit was simply the next structure. So as you can see, price from this order block pushed down here. And so this low is where I was targeting. And this is something you're going to have to accept. Sometimes price will keep going, you know. It's not great to, to look at, but if I had held, I would have made 34%, which is a lot more than 9%, but never get greedy. I never look back at trades because holding, trying to catch 34% trades, you know, it's not going to happen often. And you're going to have to manage with the losing 20 trades in a row, 30 trades, 40 trades in a row before something like this happens. And do you have the discipline to keep ent entering your setups when you're losing time and time again? Probably not, so it's better to stick to lower rewards. And 9% is definitely more than enough. You know, you could have stuck to a, just the Asian lows, which for 1.6, 1 to 6, is also a very nice trade. The main thing is have a reason for your entry, have a reason for your stop loss, and have a reason for your take profit. I've made a video on that on risk management if you want to check that out. And hold your how to hold your trades longer is what it's called. And then just to summarize, let me put this back here. So then to put my thought process into steps, I would say step one is to look for an order block that has imbalance and a break of structure on the higher time frame. So for me, that's the four hour. If you want to trade smaller time frames, you could maybe do the hourly in the 15 minute or the hourly in the five minute. But for me, the higher time frame is the four hour. Choose whatever you like. So it could be daily as well, but it doesn't matter. For me, higher time frame is four hour. Then step two is to wait for price to return to this order block, be patient and wait for it to react. So have clear reaction to push down and show that some liquidity was taken into the zone and then push down. And then step three is to go to your lower time frame, for me 50 minute here, um, and look for manipulation. So that's this price pushing up here, pushing down, another order block and imbalance. Again, same step one, just on the lower time frame. And then you're going to be waiting for your price to come back to your zone. You can either enter straight away or you can wait for some liquidity. You know, wait for Asian highs, because if price had just taken out in the Asian session, then you would have been stopped out if you're waiting for liquidity or just enter depending on your rules, which is step four, stick to your rules, your entry, your stop loss and take profit. Always target the same thing if it's a fixed reward, if it's the Asian lows, if it's a structure, wherever it is, stick to it. Same with stop loss, if you want to place it higher, that's fine, but don't keep moving it around. And step five that you should be doing throughout is always looking for liquidity. This can be you know, the liquidity I showed here before the zone because it gives you more confirmation and it can be liquidity in step three before your entry. And it can also be step four, Look for, look for liquidity to target you know you could target these asian lows you could target these equal lows here there's gonna be liquidity resting below there you could even be back here with asian lows doesn't matter always look for liquidity because that's what moved the market but if you stick to these four rules then you should definitely be able to see more setups especially in line with this and it will stop you from over trading because you're trading with the higher time frames so it's gonna be less trades but more more, quali more quality trades they will be so i hope you found this video useful if you have then Make sure to subscribe and join the Discord. Got a community growing very fast at the moment, so I'd love to have you in there. And you'll be able to ask any questions to me and all the other members and share your analysis, see other people's analysis, and see what zones I'm looking at. And it's just a nice place to chat to other serious traders who are serious about improving their trading. But if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.